Hi, in this guide I'll show you how to create a Windows XP install with Service Pack 3 and the latest hotfixes hot included. First of all, go to computerforums.org and scroll halfway down the site until you get to the computer articles category. Now click on software articles and scroll down a bit and there's a topic called how to create a Windows XP install CD with Service Pack 3 plus latest hotfixes included. If you can't find the document in the right hand side there's a search feature just use that search to find the document. At the top of the document there's a few things you need. First of all you need the physical Windows XP install CD Next you need a program called Enlight and it's got a download link there. We need the Windows XP Service Pack 3 file. Uh, again I've given you a link there to download it. And here there's an archive that I've found that includes a lot of uh, post Service Pack 3 hotfixes included in that one file. So if you download the Enlight program and install it on your machine. And on the root of your C drive, create a, fo a folder called WinXP. Then put the Windows XP CD ROM drive into your CD ROM, click on it, and then copy all of the files like that. Right click copy, go up to your C WinXP folder and then just right click and paste. I've done this process already so all the files are there. Alright, if you load this Enlight program uh, on the first screen click next here, browse to C WinXP, it's in there already click next. This is going to scan that folder for the files and you can see it's the professional version, it's got service pack 0. Click next and next again. Right here we want to include service pack so click that and it will go green on the left hand side. We want hotfixes so select the hotfixes. Down the bottom we want this bootable ISO. Click next, uh, do select, uh, make sure you've downloaded the service pack free, uh, link on the site here, and also download this file at the same time and save it into the same folder. Uh, so in the Enlight program just click on select and browse to the service pack free file which is this one. It's now going to scan the file, make sure that it looks ok. Okay, we've got a message here saying it's been added successfully, so just OK. And up the top here it says Windows XP Professional, it should pop up saying Service Pack 3 in a minute. There we go, Service Pack 3. Now ready to go onto the next page, so click Next. Hotfixes, click on Insert. Uh, don't unzip this file, leave it as a zip file and double click on it. If you want to know what hotfixes are included on there, you can either ex ex extract the file or on this link there will be a list of hotfixes in there that's included in the file. If you want to add any additional hotfixes, you can click on insert, download them from the Microsoft website and then just add them in here one by one and they will pop up in this list. Click on next 
Uh, do you want to start the process? Yes. This is now going to compile the Windows XP install CD with the service pack free and the hotfixes. When the next button is available, just click next because the process is finished. Okay, what this screen is going to do, uh, let me just click on make click on make ISO and save the ISO file to your desktop. What this is going to do, this is going to make a file that you can burn onto your CD. Right, now we have this ISO. If you want to burn it to a USB drive and create a bootable USB window XP install, uh, download Google and download this program called Win Setup from USB. Make sure your USB drive is plugged into your computer before running this program. Okay, first thing to do is browse. Browse the C Win XP folder we created click on it, click on OK. If we browse to the C WinXP folder we can see there's a few more files being added on here. Down the bottom there's a .sp3 file that indicates that Service Pack 3 is included in this install. So we've selected C WinXP make sure that this is your USB drive, E drive, I know it is so I'm going to leave it. Click on HP Format Tool. Select Quick Format. Make sure FAT32 is up the top, selected at the top there. Click on Start and Yes. This is going to format your USB stick, so make sure you've backed up all data off of it before you do this process. Click on OK and Close. Now click on Go down the bottom. Now this is going to prepare your USB stick so you can install Windows XP from it. When the file copy is finished the file progress bar will be all green and you'll get this message pop up. What you need to do is put the USB drive into the PC or laptop you want to install XP on, boot to the USB drive Follow the install prompts and it will require to reboot three times. After each reboot it might say press any key to boot to USB. Do not press this key, only press it the first time. Thank you.